All right. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining. Um, thanks for continuing to join despite, you know, I know some, some places in the world are out of shelter. And um, for me personally, I've, I've really enjoyed finding, um, you know, practicing at home with, with my teachers from all over the world. So um, I plan on continuing teaching virtually every Wednesday. Um, and I will, will invite all of you guys to, to join me you know, as we, as, as the world changes and, and reopens, and um, I hope to continue to see you. Um, today's practice is going to feel really good for me, at least, <laughs> I hope for you. Um, I've been feeling really tight, you know, in, in the back of the shoulders, right in between the shoulder blades and the front of the shoulders. So this whole practice is dedicated to um, deep shoulder opening. So, um, you know, I know typically in, in my, most of my classes, I work you guys a lot and, and we sweat and we are challenged. And um, this one's gonna be just a, a little bit different. So it'll feel really good and we'll get a, a really nice deep shoulder opening. So um, without further ado, let's get started. We're gonna get started in embryo pose. So kind of like child's pose. You'll come to the very back of your mat. Two big toes will come to touch. Knees won't come out too wide. They'll be about shoulder width distance. And then you're just gonna drop the forehead down on the mat, just like child's pose. And then crawl your arms back behind you. Palms will face up. So the tops of the shoulders, the pecs, will just rest directly on top of both of your knees. Palms will face up. And then you should be able to breathe pretty deeply into that space right in between the shoulder blades. So just take a moment to settle into your embryo pose, like a little embryo. We'll be here for about a minute. So go ahead and open up your mouth and take a nice deep, deep exhale. Good, big full breath in, fill all the way up. And then loud sigh, exhale, let that all go. Good, two more just like that. Big inhale, feel the rib cage expand. And then nice big sigh, empty out. Good, last one, big inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Start to seal your lips. You should hear my music now. Breathe in and out of the nose. And as you do that, allow your chest, your upper body to become nice and heavy on the tops of the thighs and the knees. Feel your shoulder blades separate. So your two scapula, feel them become nice and broad and wide, almost as if the back of your heart was shining up towards the sky. Now's a really nice time to set an intention for your practice. Just honoring your body and your mind, wherever you're at. Taking this moment to ground down to be thankful for this practice and know that we're about to really open up the shoulders. Take about three more. Nice deep breaths in and out of the nose. Starting to build that tiny little bit of heat internally. And then you'll stay here exactly as you are. The only thing that will change is the arm. So you're gonna hook your thumbs behind your back. Hook your thumbs behind your back and then shoot your fingertips all the way towards the back of the mat and squeeze your shoulder blades together and then start to lift the arms up towards the sky and just breathe here. So already we're getting into a pretty deep shoulder opener. Just notice how this feels. And you're welcome to stay here or you can move on with me. You'll start to lift your hips up and kind of rock onto the crown of your head. It's a modified rabbit pose. 
So thumbs stay hooked, shoulder blades pull together. You're resting on the crown of your head, the very top of your head. Hips are lifted just slightly. Take one last breath in here. And then exhale, release all the way back down into that embryo pose. Unhook the thumbs and then start to walk the fingertips all the way forward for your child's pose. This time, draw your knees really wide. And crawl the fingertips forward. And then start to walk your elbows further forward, further forward. Press your palms together. And then crawl the elbows further forward. Fingertips point towards the sky like a little prayer. Forehead stays down on the mat. And then bend your elbows a little more and separate your hands so that your palms are pressing onto that space right at the back of your heart. And keep crawling finger, sorry, elbow tips forward and tip tips back. And your fingers should be on your upper back. So good time to give yourself a nice little self massage. Start to dig your fingers into any spaces that feel tight. Maybe the neck. Maybe that space directly in between the shoulders. You have two more breaths here to so just move around with the hands. Good. And when you're done, you'll crawl your fingertips all the way forward for that child's pose. And together, seal your lips. Take a full breath in. We'll breath out. Good. Rise up to a tabletop pose as you inhale. And then exhale, settle your knees directly underneath your hips, spread your fingers wide. We'll move into cat cow in just a bit, not yet though. We're gonna do some scapula shoulder blade push-ups. Okay, so keep the spine nice and long. And as you inhale, pull the shoulder blades together on your upper back. Everything else stays the same. The only thing moving is the shoulder. And as you exhale, separate the shoulder blades as far apart as you can by pushing the palms down into the mat. Let's keep going with that. Inhale, pinch the shoulder blades together. It's almost like you're popping a little cherry in between the shoulder. And then exhale, separate the shoulder blades as much as you can. Getting really wild, popping cherries in this class today. Inhale, pull shoulder blades together. And exhale, separate them. And just keep moving like that. Exploring that space right behind the mid spine, right behind the back of the heart. And we'll go for three. Fingers are spread super wide in two and one. Tabletop pose. Let's move into traditional cat cow. Inhale, drop the belly, open up the heart, gaze, lift black. Nice. Exhale, round the spine. Breathe into the back of the heart. We'll hold here. Chin stays tucked. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. So really breathing into that space behind the heart. Inhale, cow pose. Drop the belly. Open up the chest. Gaze lift. Exhale, cat pose. Round the spine. We'll hold for one breath. Full breath in. Full breath out. Last one just like that. Inhale. Spill the belly down, open up through the collarbone. Exhale, cat pose, spine round, push into the palms. One breath in here, in your cat. One breath out. Good. Now close your eyes and just flow through cat cow about five times on your own. Feeling into the shoulders, feeling into the neck and the spine. And then if you wanna to start to get weird with it, you can move the hips around, move the neck around. Let's start to feel into the body. Making any organic movements that feel good for you. Thank you guys. Move and breathe. We've got two more. So balance it out. Good. Last one. 
Okay, let's find that tabletop pose. Walk your palms to palm prints forward towards the top of the mat. Tuck your toes under, lift the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Auto Mukha Svanasana. Send the hips all the way up. Ground down through the palm. Tiny little bend in the knee. And then typically in downward facing dog, we want the spine to be nice and long. For this variation, I want you to pretend your spine is like a hammock. So see if you can push your heart down towards the mat. Shoulder blades will come together on the upper back. Head will hang heavy. You can shake it out. Bend your knee just a little bit more. Good. And let this feel good. Fingers are spread nice and wide. Hammocking the spine. Last breath in. Back to regular downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, ripple the body forward, high plank pose, shoulders back right over wrist. Good. Exhale, push back, down dog. Two more like that. Inhale, roll forward, high plank pose. Warming up the shoulders, exhale, press it back, downward dog. Last one, inhale, ripple forward, high plank pose. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly in one two. Good. Untuck the toes. Press the tops of the feet down. Inhale, lift up, cobra pose, but hover the hands off the mat. So lift your chest, tuck your chin in towards the chest, lengthen the back of the neck, and then drive your elbows really high up towards the sky. As you inhale, sweep the fingertips forward, out long in front of the top of the mat, and then exhale, Squeeze your elbows back behind you. Get your chest a little bit higher. Good. This time, inhale. Drop your forehead down as you reach the fingertips forward. Exhale. Lift your chest up just like cobra pose. But pull your elbows towards the back of the mat. Good. Two more times just like that. Inhale. Reach forward. Forehead drop. Breathe with it. Exhale. Lift the chest up. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Last one. Inhale. Reach forward. Forehead drop. Nice work, you guys. Exhale, lift it up, get a little bit higher. Squeeze the shoulders, push the tops of the feet down. Last inhale. Exhale, forehead and hands press down, tuck toes under, push up, high plank, inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale, nice work. Full breath in, full breath out. Gaze forward, bend your knees, inhale. Exhale, tiptoe all the way to the top of your mat. Feet are about hip width distance apart. And then you'll hook your thumbs behind your lower back. Just like we did before with the thumb tuck in our embryo pose. Let the head hang heavy, Uttanasana, ragdoll. And then dive your arms up and overhead. Thumbs are hooked. Breathe into the shoulder. Good, bend into your left knee deeply. And then twist the right side of your chest up towards the sky. Let the head hang heavy. Nice work, you guys. Last inhale here. Exhale, change side. Bend into the right knee. Twist the left shoulder open. Gaze towards the left. Head is heavy. Last inhale. Exhale, release the hands. Fold forward. Let your arms be super heavy. Bend your knees. Inhale, slowly roll up to stand. Nice and slow. Pushing into the feet. When you arrive at the top, take three super deep shoulder rolls up towards your ears and then all the way down your back. Let that feel nice. Good. Once you're done with those three shoulder shrugs, inhale, sweep the arms all the way up, mountain pose, tadasana. Just like we did on our belly, exhale. Drive your elbows down towards the mat. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Palms face the front of the mat. Good. Inhale, back up. Palms connect overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Dive all the way down. Good. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, step back. High plank. Find a nice, strong, long body. Take a full breath in. Exhale, drop down to your knee. Then your chest. Bend your chin, Ashtanga Namaskar. Inhale, come up, Cobra Pose, lift the chest. Exhale, forehead drops all the way down, tuck the toes under, downward facing dog. Full inhale, full exhale. Let's do 
He's got about three more times done. You need to look forward in him. Exhale, step or hop. Hop with your breath. Inhale, halfway. Let's lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise the arms all the way up. Tadasana, mountain pose. Exhale, squeeze the elbows down towards the ribs. Pinch shoulder blades together. Palms face the front of the mat. Inhale, reach up. Palms connect. Look up. Exhale, fold forward. Dive down. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Find lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms. Step back to high plank. Take a full breath in. Exhale, knees, chest, and then chin. This will help open the heart. Inhale, rise it up. Cobra pose. Slide forward and up. Exhale, tap the forehead down. Push it back. Downward facing drop. Good. We'll do that a few more times. Full breath in. Full breath out. Gaze forward. Bend your knees. Inhale. Exhale, little hop. Hop with your mouth. Inhale, halfway lift. Be lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Good. Inhale, we rise all the way up. Exhale, shoulders shrug, elbows come down, open the chest. Inhale, reach up, palms connect, take it slow. Exhale, dive forward, all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, spine lengthen. Exhale, high plank pose, step it back. Strong body, full breath in. Knees, chest, and chin, all the way down. Slither forward, cobra pose, inhale. Exhale, tap it down, push back. Downward facing dog. Take a moment. Full inhale. Full exhale. As you're ready, gaze forward, bend your knees. Then take this on your own. Whenever you're ready, you have time for about two more or one nice and slow one. Let your breath be your guide. Really focus on opening up the shoulder. Okay. Hey, Laura. <laughs> nice, Matea. Guys. <Hi. laughs> you guys. We have time for about one more. Oh, we have some fun Buena Vida crew up in here today. I love it. Hi, nice, Caitlin. Good, you guys. We'll all meet back. Down dog whenever you're ready. You have about three more breaths until we're all there. Deep shoulder openers today. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. Good. Inhale, right leg rises oh, high yeah. up to the sky. Inhale. Inhale. Bend your right knee. Scorpion is up. You have a few breaths here. If you want to take those big knee circles with the right knee, feel free. Or you can just let your left heel drop down towards the back of the mat as you glide your left glute towards the midline. Good. Right leg comes high as you inhale. Exhale, step your right foot in between your hands. Left knee drop. Inhale, low lunge. Rise the arms all the way up towards the sky. And then do whatever you need here to climb your spine up. Notice the rib cage wants to splay out. Don't let it push the frontal rib towards the back of the mat. And then start to bend into your right elbow. Capture the right elbow with the left hand. And then your right palm will press into the back of your heart and start to lean back just a little bit. We'll hold here, stretching the whole right side of your body. Push the back of the heart up towards the sky, but keep the ribs knitting in. Nice, you guys. Just two more breaths. Maybe you go a little bit deeper into the upper back bend. Good, last inhale. Exhale, release the left palm down. Tuck the left toes under. Inhale, easy twist. Elevate the left knee and the right arm all the way up towards the sky. And then twist from the left rib cage. Good. Keep the left leg firm. And we'll start to backstroke that right arm. Back towards the back of the mat. 
sweep it forward and up. We'll do that about three to five more times. Just working into the right shoulder girdle. Good, inhales, ride the fingertips up, and exhale, sweep them down. Last one, inhale. Exhale, right palm plants, right outside that right foot. Step back, high plank pose, inhale. Exhale, first chaturanga, elbows bend. Good, inhale, upward facing dog. Flip the feet, open up the chest, lift your thighs, hold for a breath in. Exhale, push back. Down dog. Left leg rises, inhale. Exhale, bend into that left knee. And hold, scorpion, your dog. Keep gliding your right glute towards the midline. This will help you open up the hips a little bit more. And if you took those circles on the first side, go for it. Make sure the chest is square. Good. Left leg rises, inhale. Exhale, step that left foot in between the hands and then drop the right knee down. Back up, low lunge. Rise the arms all the way up. Good. And then do whatever you need here to climb your spine a little higher. Shoulders come out of the ears. Then you'll start to bend into that left elbow. Capture left elbow with right hand. And then you're gonna wanna use your right hand to push that left elbow down a little bit so that you can capture the back of your heart with your left hand. Once you're holding the back of your heart, start to lift the chest up, taking the back bend from the upper back only, not the low back. Open it up. Good, breathe into the left side of the body. You have about two more breaths. Maybe you wanna go just a tiny bit deeper. Nice, you guys. Enjoy this opening. I know we're going slow. Take one last breath in here. Exhale, right palm plant, right toes tuck under. Inhale, easy twist. Left fingertips and right knee elevate at the same time. And then twist your chest up towards the left. When you're ready, you'll start to take the back stroke with the left finger. Coming back, raising the mat as you swim the left fingertips forward and up. You have time for about two to three more. Big shoulder rotation. If you guys feel into it. Last inhale. Exhale, left palm plant. Step back, high plank pose inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Lower it down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open the chest. Exhale, push it back. Down dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. Right leg rises high up as you inhale. Exhale, right knee, left tricep. Start to extend that right leg out to the left. Fall in triangle. Left arm rises all the way up towards the sky. And hold here, just like we did at the beginning. Take a full breath in. Exhale, shoulder shrug with that left arm. Squeeze the left elbow towards the left rib cage. And then open your chest up a little bit. Good. Inhale, left arm rises up. Exhale, left palm down. Right leg rises high to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, step that right foot in between the hands. Come on to the fingertips. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Pull your chest forward. And as you exhale, I want you to airplane your arms possible face up. So your thumbs are pointing towards one another. Dial that right hip bone all the way back in space. I'm already out of breath. Open up the chest. And then just like we did before, you're gonna hook your thumb directly behind your low back. See if you can straighten out the arms. So it's a nice long line of energy from the crown of your head all the way back towards your fingertips. And then you guessed it, we're gonna start to move into warrior three with the hook of the thumb. So as you're ready, fly through space, balancing on that right leg. Keep the left foot flat. Keep the thumbs hooked. You can stay here, put a teeny tiny little bend into your right knee. Or you can start to bend into your left knee deeply. So bend your left knee deeply. Kick your left heel towards your left glute. Some of you might stay here. Some of you might keep your thumbs hooked and then capture 
both sides of your left foot with your fingers. Good. And then you'll kick back to open up the chest. My right leg is shaking. <laughs> Stay grounded. You're kicking the top of the left foot into the palms to roll the chest open. Good, you guys. Thumbs stay hooked. We're here for three. You'll release that left foot and move into toppling tree in two. And one. Release the left foot. And then nice and slow, you're just going to hinge forward. So toppling tree is a space in between warrior three and standing split. Thumbs stay hooked. Dive the chest up and over that right leg. Nice big hamstring opener. Last inhale. Exhale, release the hand. Step all the way forward and fold. Nice work. Halfway lift, inhale, we lengthen it out. Exhale, fold forward. Walk your two big toes to touch. Sit low, Utkatasana. Chair pose. Reach the arms all the way up. Find that nice long spine. We're only here for a moment before we twist. So take a full inhale. Exhale, hands come to heart center. See if you can lengthen your spine a little bit as you inhale. Want you to come together. Exhale, twist to your right. Left elbow Want outside you to of right together. knee. And then use that connection Want to, to roll together. the left side of your chest up towards the right. Want you to come together. And then I'm going to recommend we all open up our arms and take the half spine. Right arm Want behind the back. Together. That will help you to roll that right shoulder open. Nice deep shoulder opener here. Get the glutes a little bit lower. Try to get them in line with your knees. And then open up your heart a little more. Last breath in. Exhale, fold it forward. Release it out. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant your palms. See if you can shoot your chest forward as you shoot your legs back. Chaturanga. Good. Upward dog inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg rises all the way up. Inhale. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Start to extend it out. Fall in, triangle. Right fingertips will come high up towards the sky. Good. So you're grounding down through that left palm. Take a full inhale. Exhale, shoulder shrug with that right elbow towards the right rib cage. Good, hold here, roll the right side of the chest open. Good, inhale, right fingertips rise up. Exhale, right palm plants down. Left leg rises as you inhale. Exhale, step the left foot in between the hands. Come onto the fingertips. Lengthen the spine, take a full breath in. Exhale, airplane your arms. Palms face up towards the sky. So take a moment here to get situated, guys. Pinch the shoulder blades together on your upper back. So your two scapula. Pull them closer together. And then notice if you let your ribs play out when you did that. Pull the ribs in. Now take the opposite hook of your thumb. So the awkward hook. And then use that to roll the shoulder open as you pinch the shoulder blades together. And then once you've got that, you can start to fly through space for your three. Find your balance, Won't find you your together. breath. This is slow, but all of a Won't sudden it got hard. Together. I don't know, I don't know about you guys. And then you can stay Won't here. If you wanna move on with me, you'll start to bend into that right Won't knee. So squeeze your right heel towards your right butt cheek. Won't and then keeping together. the thumbs hooked, see if you can capture Won't the outside edges of that right foot. Find Won't your balance you and then together. kick back with the right foot. Kick back to roll the chest open. Good. Keep breathing. You've got it. Balance. Keep kicking back. Open the chest. We're here for three. We'll dive forward into that toppling tree in two. Keep the thumbs hooked. And one. Nice and slow. Release the right foot if you have it. And then fold and dive over that left leg. Toppling tree. Thumbs stay hooked. Awkward hook. Chin is tough. So I know you want to jet the chin forward to find that focal point. But see if you can gaze back at the left big toe mound. Lengthen the back of the neck. We're here for three. Get your right heel a little higher for two. And one. Full forward. Good. Shake out the leg. 
walk your two big toes to touch. Inhale, halfway lift, we lengthen. Open mouth, exhale, fold. Chair pose. Inhale, sit low, reach the arms all the way up. And then right away, exhale, hands come to heart center. Lengthen your spine as you inhale. Twist to the left as you exhale. Right elbow outside of left knee. Twist the heart up towards the thumb. And then I'm going to recommend that we all open up our arms, fly the arms, and start to take that half bind. Left arm will come all the way behind the back. Roll the left shoulder open. Good, you guys. And then sit a little bit lower. Try not to give up. Squeeze the outer thighs inward. Twist. Last breath in. Exhale, fold it all the way forward. Nice work. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Shoot it back, landing with bent elbows. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, open it up. Good, exhale, downward facing dog, push it back. Full breath in. Exhale, drop your knees down, directly underneath your hip, down to the mat, Anahatasana, puppy dog pose. Keep the hips directly over the knees, forehead down, down, fingers drop forward like one of my all-time favorites. Open up the shoulders. Let your heart draw down towards the mat. And now's a really nice opportunity to take a big breath out of your mouth. Feel whatever you're feeling. Good, last breath in here. Last breath up. Look forward and we're gonna slither forward into Sphinx Pose. Your arms will stay at that number 11. Good. Draw the pubic bone down and then roll the heart through the shoulders. Pinch the shoulder blades together on the upper back. Palms are in the same line as the elbows. Elbows are directly underneath the shoulders. Toes are untucked. Push the tops of your feet down. Take a full breath in. Exhale, draw your chin towards your chest. So now you're looking at your chest. Lift your ribs up, lift your navel up, lift your hips up. You're pushing into the tops of your feet. So it's kind of like a forearm plank. Full breath in, exhale, lower down, the exact same way we came into it. Thighs lower down, pubic bone lower down, chest opens up, gaze forward, open up the heart, big inhale. Exhale, chin tucks in, pull the navel up, lift the hips up. Try to hold as you inhale. Exhale, lower the thigh, lower the pubic bone, roll the heart open, pinch the shoulder blades together, look forward, inhale. Only one more, I promise. Exhale, tuck the chin, lift the ribs up, lift the navel up, and we're in that little forearm plank. Hold here, push into the tops of your feet. I know you can do it. Nice, you guys. Push into your palms a little bit harder. Try to distribute the weight equally into both of your forearm bones. Last inhale. Nice, exhale. Lower down nice and slow. Thighs, pubic bone, chest comes forward. Last inhale. Good, you guys. Exhale, lower the forehead all the way down. And you're gonna pretend like you have two cupcakes, okay? So you're gonna tint your fingertips, bring them onto the outside edges of your mat, like right under the elbows. And then push into the tops of the feet. Inhale, rise the head and heart up. Exhale, dip your left shoulder down. Left temple comes down to the mat. Good, little shoulder flossing here. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, right shoulder comes all the way down. Whew, feels good. One more each side. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, left shoulder dip. Nice. Inhale, back through center. This is a good desk exercise, by the way, if you're at a desk. Right shoulder dip. Inhale, open it up, back through center. Exhale, forehead drops down. Let's push back through child pose just for a beat. Don't get too comfortable. Last inhale here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Auto move Full breath in. Full breath up. Rock it forward. High plank pose. Inhale, 
shoulders right over the wrist. And then remember those nice little shoulder blade scapula push-ups we did at the beginning. We're gonna do those again, but in high plank. So if you need to drop down to your knees at any point, you can. As we inhale, pinch your shoulder blades together on your upper back, and then exhale, push into the mat. Separate the scapula as much as you can. Let's do four more, inhale. Exhale. If you have no idea what we're doing, just hold high plank. Inhale, pinch shoulders. Exhale, push and separate the scapula. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Squeeze the core, inhale. Exhale. Good, hold high plank. Bring your two big toes to touch. Side plank balancing on the left palm. So roll onto the outer edge of that left foot. Reach the right fingertips all the way up towards the sky. Vashi Satsana. Nice, you guys. And see if you can slide your right foot up the inseam of your left leg. Tree pose in Vashi Satsana. Rikshasana in Vashi Satsana. Good, you can stay here. Or if you'd like to move on to wild thing, you'll pop the ball mound of your right foot behind your left knee as you roll the chest open. Wild thing, open up your heart. And then try to stay with me. Bend your right elbow, capture the back of your heart with the palm of your right hand. And then use that to push your chest up towards the sky. Some of you might take it even deeper and grab onto the left upper arm bone with your right hand. This is what I'm doing right now. So you grab onto the left upper arm bone with your right hand. Open the chest a little more. Last breath in. Back to side plank, nice and slow. Side plank, cover your right foot, keep the right arm lifted, and then step your right foot forward. Easy twist, not so easy twist. <laughs> Good, find your footing. Left leg is nice and strong. And then we'll just rise it up. Crescent lunge with that open arm twist. Okay, right. hello. <laughs> open up the chest. Good, you guys, find your balance. Inhale, exalted crescent. Left fingers rise. Right hand just slides on the back of that left side. We're using this as a nice big chest opener, shoulder opener again. Good, full breath in. Exhale, bring the spine to vertical and then you'll find eagle arms. Left arm will wrap underneath your right arm. So left arm underneath the right. And then pretend you're just in crescent lunge with the legs because you are. Bend your right knee more. We're just gonna floss the arms here. So the only thing that will move is the elbows. Inhale, drive the elbows and the fingers as high as you can. Exhale, squeeze your elbows down towards your belly button. Good, so we're flossing the shoulders. Inhale, lift the elbows up. Exhale, elbows come down to the knees. Good, two more, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Good. Bring your hands to heart center as you inhale. And then we'll just nice and easy open it up, warrior two. Spin that left heel down. Open up the arms. Gaze out and over the right middle finger. And then activate your arms as the shoulders pull away from the ears. Inhale, half bound reverse warrior. Left arm comes behind the back. Capture the top of that right thigh. The right fingertips back behind you. Bend into the right knee a little bit more, stretch into the right side of your body. Good. Inhale, straighten the right leg only. Exhale, tip the hips back, reach the right fingertips forward, stand the half spine, and then come into Trikonasana with the half spine. Good. Use this opportunity to roll that left shoulder open. Some of you might need to pop your left foot in a little bit. And then you can kind of slip into a full bind here. Tiny little bend in that right knee. Maybe you capture the finger behind the low back. Again, just using this as an opportunity to open the shoulder. Nice long spine. You're either in a half bind or a full bind. This is a full challenge here. If you're in the full bind, gaze forward at your right big toe and try to balance fully bound or half bound, half moon. This is like my arch nemesis. <laughs> Ardha Chandrasana. Half moon with that full bind or that half bind. Nice. Whatever bind you have, I want you to release it, but stay in half moon. 
left fingers will rise all the way up. And then you'll start to squeeze that left heel towards that left glute and reach around with that left hand. See if you can capture the left foot, Chapasana, big shoulder opener. And little hot tip for you guys, if you're capturing the outer edge of your left foot, see if you can walk your hand, your left hand up towards your left toe and then all the way around to the inside edge of that left foot. Good, we're holding here for two more breaths. Good, release back to that half move. Left hand comes to left hip. Use the left hand on the left hip to rotate the left hip down. Just a really brief standing split. Full breath in. Exhale, step all the way to the top of the mat and fold. Feet are hips width distance apart. Hook your thumbs behind your lower back. Fold. Breathe. Three deep breaths. Shake out the head. And just notice, you know, how much more open your shoulders feel. Mine for sure do. Just a little secret. Sometimes I just, you know, sequence class based on what I want to do. So hopefully this feels good for you guys too. Take the last breath in. And exhale, release everything down. Halfway lift the inhale. And then step, hop, or fly. Vinyasa, chaturanga, high to low. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Take a moment, settle it in. Full breath in, full breath out. Good, come back to that high plank pose. I know you're excited. <laughs> and then we're just gonna take three of those shoulder blade push-ups. So squeeze the shoulder blades together and then push them apart. Go deeper, squeeze them together, pop that cherry and then push into the mat, separate the shoulder blades. Last one. Good, now walk your two big toes to touch. You're balancing on your right hand this time. My back is going to face you, sorry about that. Vashi stops in a side plank. Roll onto the outer edge of your right foot. Good. Lift the left fingertips all the way up. And start to slide the sole of your left foot up towards your right shin bone or the right inner thigh. Rikshasana in Vashisasana. Good. And then you can either stay here or move on with me. Hop your left foot, left ball mount of your left foot, right behind the right knee come into wild thing. Open up the chest. Let the right shoulder blade slide onto the upper back. And then you'll bend into that left elbow, capture the back of your heart. This is really challenging, you guys. If you wanna add on, you'll capture the right upper arm bone with that left hand. And then use it to lean back more. Lift the hips up more. Let it feel so good. Last breath in. Exhale nice and slow. Come back to Vashisasana. Stay with me. Hover the left foot. Keep the left arm lifted. And then step that left foot forward. Not so easy twist. Roll the chest up and open. Start to get light on those right fingertips. Crescent lunge with the twist. Open up your arm. Open up your chest. Find your balance. Find your footing. Inhale. Exalted warrior. Let the left hand slide down the back of that right thigh. Roll the chest open. Good, you guys. Two more breaths here. Keep the left knee bent. Open the heart. Take the back bend from the upper back. Good. Spine comes to vertical as you inhale. Exhale, eagle arm. Right arm underneath left arm. Right arm underneath left arm. Good. And then find your crescent lunge, lunge leg. Lengthen the spine. And as we're ready, we'll just flop our shoulders a little bit. Inhale, elbows come up. Exhale, squeeze the elbows down towards your navel. Everything else stays the same. Three more, inhale. Exhale. Let it feel good, inhale. Go a little higher. Exhale, squeeze. Last one, inhale, wrist lift it up. Exhale, squeeze it down. Bring your hands to heart center. 
find your breath. Full breath in. Exhale, open it up. Warrior two. Slice the air with the strength of your arms. And then bend into that left knee. Good. Gaze is out in front of you. Inhale, half bound, reverse warrior. Left fingertips paint the sky. Right hand pushes down into that upper left side. And then really swim the left fingertips back behind you. Start to straighten the left leg, full breath in. Exhale, half bound, trikonasana. Maybe you need to hop that back foot in a, a tiny bit. Keep the half bind. Use it to roll that right shoulder open. Some of you might slip into a full bind. The first time I did balance triangle, I was like, wait, this is a pose? It seems so difficult. Try to keep the spine really long, no matter where you are, and then push into your right heel to lengthen the spine a little bit more. Half binders or full binders, Look down at your left big toe and start to slide through space. Half bound or fully bound, half bound. You really have to use your low core in the full bind to lift your right heel up in the same line as your right hip bone. Good, if you fall out of it, just make your way into that half bind. Thank you guys. All right, we're all in Ardha Chandrasana. Start to separate your arms, half moon. Right fingertips rise all the way up. And then you'll start to kick your right heel towards your right glute. Reach back towards the right foot with the right finger. Chapasana, sugar cane pose. And then if you're grabbing the outside edge of your right foot, walk your hands up towards your toes and then all the way around. So you're grabbing the inside of the foot. And then kick back to open up the chest. Keep breathing. Thank you guys. Keep the spine long. We're here for three. Back to half moon in two. Stay with me, I know it's a lot. And one, half moon, extend the right leg. Capture the right hip bone with the right hand, and then use the right hand to rotate the right hip bone down to face the mat. Standing slip just for one little beat. Full breath in. Step forward and fold. Nice, you guys. Cha-cha out the leg. Bend one knee, and then the other. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, chaturanga, or skip at high to low plank. Up dog as we inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale, nice you guys. Take a full breath in, full breath out. One teeny tiny little bit, and then we'll be done. Right leg rises, inhale. Exhale, step the right foot in between the hands. Pop that left heel in just a little bit. Rise it up, warrior one. Rear of a drop no one. We cannot do a shoulder opening clap without humble warrior. So drive that left heel down. Start to interlace your hands with the lower back. Punch down, open your heart as you inhale. And then dive forward, humble warrior. One of my favorite things is coming up next. So the hard work is done. Let your head and neck hang heavy. Maybe shake out the head. You can open up the mouth, stretch out the jaw, and then dive your fist up over the head. Good, now release your hand inside of your right foot and walk your hands over to the left. Prasarita Padakonasana, wide-legged forward fold. Capture the heels, heels are out. Toes are in, and then drive your the front of your head down towards the knee. Now you're gonna walk your palms forward. So you're still in prasarita. Come onto the fingertips. So you've got those two cupcakes underneath your hand. And then remember when we hammock the spine? Let's do that again. So push your heart down towards the knee. Imagine like your spine is a hammock, and you just sat on top of your spine. Good. Now keep your right hand where it is and see if you can grab your right ankle with your left hand. And then bend your left elbow a little bit. So your left hand 
is grabbing the outside edge of your right ankle. Bend your left elbow and roll your chest up underneath your right armpit. If you want to take it deeper, this is my favorite. Bend your left knee. Bend your left knee a lot and keep twisting. Nice big hamstring and heart opening stretch. Last breath in. Exhale, unwind it. Come back to that hammock, down dog like prosperita. Cupcakes are under those hands. And then see if you can change sides. Right hand captures for the outside edge of that left ankle. Bend into your right elbow. Twist the heart up underneath the left armpit. And then bend into your right knee a lot. Hmm. Let it feel good. Breathe. Good, last inhale. Back to that nice little hammock, release it. Start to walk your hands underneath your shoulders. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, bend into your left knee and walk towards the back of your mat. Drive your right heel down, warrior one. Rise the arms all the way up. So warrior one facing the back of your mat. This is my way of saving time. <laughs> Gotta get you guys out on time. Bend into the left oh, knee more, interlace your hand with the low day. back, opposite oh, yes. grip. Punch down, Gotta open the chest, and inhale. Exhale, There's humble warrior. Dive forward. Try to get that left shoulder oh, inside of the left knee. What a day. Take out the head. Smell of rain. And then I don't know about you guys, but my hips tend to kind of jet out towards the left when I'm in humble. So Squeeze your hips towards the midline. That's it. Last in here. Exhale, release your hands inside of your left foot. Let's come back to that prosperita just for five breaths. If you want to take a nice, quick, and safe headstand, go for it. If you want to stay with me, you'll interlace your hands with a little back. Just take a nice, big shoulder opener. Good. Last breath in. And out. Release whatever you're in. Hands come underneath the shoulders. Halfway lifting heel. Exhale. Crawl towards the top of your mat. Let's step back to a high plank pose. Full breath in. Exhale. Lower all the way down. Keep your belly in one piece. We've been waiting all Press the tops days, of your feet down into the mat. Squeeze the inner thighs way. together. Interlace your hands and your lower back. Inhale, lift everything up. Shalavasana, locust pose. Tuck your chin in towards your chest. Your neck is an extension of your spine. Stay here, or if you want to move on with me, bend your knees, squeeze your heels towards your glutes, and then reach back, capture the outside edges of your feet, Kick back and up, don your asana, your bow. Okay, we're gonna do something, what I think is fun. <laughs> so stay in your floor bow, kick back and up, and then you're just gonna, you can roll onto the right side. It might get sloppy. Roll onto your right shoulder. It's a big shoulder opener, you guys. Your hands on your asana, you're on the outside of your right shoulder. And then see if you can roll back up to your center. Over to the left. The good thing is, I can't actually see you, so I can't like laugh with you guys. Maybe that's a bad thing. And then come back to your center, don your ass, and a kick up, open up, last inhale. Whew, exhale, let that go. See out your arm right away. Roll onto the right side of your body, roll onto the right half. Bend your left knee. Step your left foot behind your right knee. And then you'll crawl your left hand right in front of your heart. Close your eyes. Keep crawling the right fingertips over towards the right. Just breathe into that right pec muscle. Deep breath. And for any advanced yogis, 
if you want to take this even deeper, you'll flip your right palm to face the sky. You'll start to take the inner lace at the low back. Maybe bend into your right knee. Plant the sole of your right foot down. And then you'll pop all the way into bridge pose. Lifting the hips all the way. Super advanced though, so maybe you're kind of flopping around. Maybe you're in bridge pose. Do whatever is right for your body. And then nice and slow, we'll all come out of that. Lay on your belly, tee out your arms. Get situated on your mat again. And then go ahead and roll on over towards the left side of your body. So you're balancing on your left hip. Left temple is down. And then bend into your right knee. Plant the sole of your right foot directly behind that left knee. Right hand comes in front of the heart. And then keep crawling the left fingertips over towards the left. Close your eyes, take those huge breaths. And then for anyone that wants to try it, you'll start to interlace your hands at your lower back. Roll your hips down towards the right. Bend into your left knee. Plant the sole of your left foot down. Try to get situated first. And then you'll roll all the way over. You're most likely off your mat in that bridge pose with the fingers interlaced. And you have no idea how you got there. <laughs> Me neither. Good. Slowly, slowly. We'll all meet back on our bellies. Nice work, you guys. Let's push it back, child pose. And just like we started, knees will come wide. Walk your fingers really far forward. Let your palms come to touch. Elbows walk further forward. Forehead rests down. When you looked in the water and saw and let your thumbs pass the back of your heart. Breathe. They drew out a map you have to block. It feels like so amazing. As far as the east, we are at peace when you enter. My love is just a reminder, find your center. My love is just a reminder, find your center. My love is just a reminder. My love is just a Remember your intention for your practice and just allow yourself to feel more open, not just physically but mentally. Start to crawl the fingertips out long in front of you. Walk your hands up towards your knees. Two more poses until Savasana. So extend your legs out long in front of you. Feet will be hip distance apart for this variation. So instead of legs together, legs are hip distance. And you can move the flesh from your glutes out from underneath you. Bend your knees a little bit. Reach your arms up as you inhale. And then My exhale, fold forward, and I want you to hug underneath your knees, and then fold it forward. If you can, you can kind of start to straighten out your legs, let the head hang heavy, and then you should be able to really feel your low back expand. Feet are flexed. Your way, color start to fade. Take a look with it. And then you can release the elbows and fold a little bit deeper. Maybe capturing the outer edges of your feet, lengthen the spine a little bit. Chin is tough, last breath in. And out. Good, nice and slow. The spine comes to vertical, and then you'll just scoot towards the top of your mat. You roll all the way down towards your back. Right knee pulls in towards your chest. Left leg extends out long. Take a full breath in here. And then exhale to plank. So trace your right knee over towards the left. And then I want you to cactus your right hand. Right palm will face off. And really push that right shoulder blade down into the mat as you gaze towards the right. Three deep breaths.
keeps pushing the right shoulder blade down, push a little bit deeper. Give you guys back to center. Hug your left knee in, right leg extend. Pull that left knee in, close, full inhale. Exhale, twist. Left knee drives over towards the right. Practice that left arm. Left palm faces up. Left shoulder blade glued down into the mat. And you gaze towards the left. Keep twisting the left knee towards the right. Three breaths. I invite you to open up your mouth and just let any tension spill out of your mouth, spill out of your body. And then nice and easy, come back to center. Hug your knees in towards your chest. If you need anything else, like a full wheel, shoulder stand, head stand, go ahead and take that now. If you're ready for your Shavasana. Hug your knees in, take a little squeeze. Notice how good you feel, how open you feel. Full breath in. Shavasana, exhale. Bend the legs out nice and long. Palm face up, take up so much space. Let yourself rest fully. Two minutes. <laughs> Wednesday night, or whenever you're watching this, go ahead and just move around. Keep the eyes closed. Move the head around side to side. Point and flex the feet. And then just one last time for good measure, hook your thumbs and then reach your arms back behind you. Point the toes, stretch out nice and long while you're hooking the thumbs. Take a full breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Good, hug your knees in towards your chest. Go ahead and rock on over towards your favorite side. Finding yourself in your fetal position. And then nice and slow, take it easy. 
come on up. Seated meditation. Close our eyes together. Before you bring your hands to heart center, take a few deep shoulder rolls. So bring your shoulders up towards your ears, scrunch them in and then roll them all the way back down your back and then change direction. So if you were going backwards, go forward. Good. And then shake it out. Bring your hands to heart center. Atman Anjali Mudra. Connecting your prayer, bowing your chin in towards your chest. And together, we'll take a full breath into the heart. And a nice big sigh, exhale. Let's bow forward together to honor ourselves and each other. Namaste. Thank you guys so, so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Um, definitely needed that. And last week we raised $4,050. Um, so, so stoked about that. We were, we donated all of it to the NAACP uh, legal fund. And this week we are raising money. For, well, we, it's me, are raising money for um, Campaign Zero. So um, thanks for joining. I hope you guys continue to come regardless of, you know, quarantine and whatnot. But thank you for being here and have a good rest of your week. Peace out. Namaste. Thank you. Thanks, yeah. Emily. Thanks, guys. Um, Katie, where are you? I'm at home. I'm in Manhattan. Oh, already. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. It's so nice. It looks so, where are, are you outside your, are you in your backyard? That's like the kitchen back there. Oh, okay. So it's like the patio. But oh, I forgot. Yeah. Bye, Just guys. Just checking out, making sure it's okay for you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love you. Bye. I love you guys.